Hello and welcome to your 8th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to add pillars to our area, we're going to add a roof to our house and we're also going to play around in the world of geometry mode. So to start off with let's go ahead and add these pillars. So right click your cylinder brush over here and just go ahead and change 256 for the Z, and that's the height of the pillars and then 64 for our outer radius. So just build this and make sure you can see the brush and just translate this into the position where you want it. And just make sure it's looking good in all the viewports. Okay, it's looking good. So let's just CSG add this. Let's remove our builder brush. Oh, what happened there? Right, there we go. Remove our builder brush. And let's just use our alt trick to clone this over here. And the very same alt trick to clone this up here. Now, these pillars aren't really necessary. But I feel they just add something to the map, so let's just build our geometry so we can see it in our perspective viewport. That's a mouthful. And okay, I think that looks quite nice. I really do feel it adds something to the map. So now we've added our pillars, let's go ahead and add a roof. So right click your cube brush and change the X to 768 and the Y to 640. Now I've worked this out as being the square that exact, well not the square, being the rectangle, technically speaking, that fits the top of our house, and then 64 for our classic width. So just build this and make sure we can see our builder brush. And let's just position this into place. Just gonna sit above our house like that, and perfectly on top, like that. So that's looking pretty clean from all the views. Let's go ahead and CSG add this and close our builder brush. So some houses have a flat roof and you might want your house in this scene to have a flat roof but personally I like pointy roofs so what we're going to do is we're going to go into geometry mode so let's just select our object and let's just click geometry mode okay so immediately you can see we have all these vertex and, um, and edge options so what we can actually do is we can pretty much edit a whole lot of things about our mesh or brush using the geometry tools. So what we're actually going to do for this one is we're going to split it in half this way and then we're just going to raise those vertexes up and that should make a pointy roof. So to split it in half what we're actually wanting to do basically is split this edge in half and this edge in half. So if we just select this one or the other one oops I didn't quite get the edge there. Okay there we go so I've selected there and if we split this in half, it'll split the edge exactly in half, hence splitting the whole brush in half. So let's just click split, and well, would you look at that? It's split it perfectly in half. So now let's go ahead and go into this view, because what we actually want to do is we want to move this vertex and this vertex up. So we can do this really easily by just clicking here in this viewport. Now you'll notice this is selected both. Now this is because from the viewport, we click it and the program goes, oh my god, what the hell do I do? Should I select the one at the front or the one at the back? What do I do? What do I do? Well, no, it doesn't do that at all. That's a complete lie. What it does is it goes, you know what? I'm going to select both. So it's selected both vertexes. And now we can just go ahead and translate these upwards and just make as much of a, uh, a point as you like. Okay, so when you've done that, just go ahead and rebuild your geometry. Okay, so that's geometry mode. It is really simple. Basically, you can just modify your edges and vertexes of your meshes or brushes. So, this is all looking okay. Let's just go ahead and make sure our lighting's alright. Let's go to lit. Okay, our lighting's a bit dodgy, to say the least. So, is it all alright inside our house? Yeah, I positioned the light quite well last time. So, that's okay. Pillar's lighting is a bit dodgy. I think we may need to create another light. So let's just lift this up a bit. I kind of want to... Uh, right, I've got an idea. This can be our kind of skylight that lights the, um, the whole area. And I guess I should really go a bit more central if it's going to be that. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Change of mind. You know, let's just scale them up a bit. Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. So let's, in fact, yeah, let's put this back here. And then let's also use our alt trick 
to make a clone over here, which we're going to scale down a bit because there's too much lighting, I feel. So let's just translate him a little bit more. Now, what am I trying to do here? Kind of want it. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll have it there, perhaps. Uh, yeah, let's move it down a little bit. Okay, that's generally looking. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening here? All right, let's let's move this a little more. Okay, maybe more. In fact, let's just put it right on the corner. That could work out. So, like there. Okay, we're still having some dark issues, so let's just go ahead and scale this up. Okay, I think generally that's pretty good. Again, we're having some lighting issues with this side. Perhaps we should put another light in there, but I'm not too bothered about that for now. So, let's go ahead and try and play this. So, once again, I'm just going to click the build all button, and I'll tell you when it's done. Okay, so we've just built everything. Let's go ahead and try and play the level. Play from here. And here we are. We have a roof above our heads. And we have our windows and our door, just as usual. We look outside, we have our pillars, which could possibly be a little bit taller, really. I just made them the same height as the, uh, the house of our pillars. And then, let's try and get a good view of it, we have our pointy roof, like that. So... The only problem with this at the moment is possibly a few lighting issues and possibly also a few geometry issues. But um, excluding those, everything is with this purple and kind of greyish checkerboard. So in the next lesson, what we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to put materials onto your pieces of geometry. But for now, that's pretty much the end of... Oh dear, I've fallen off. That's pretty much the end of the geometry section of our house area. And that's the end of this lesson. Have a nice day.